This is Nishant from Stuff Magazine India. Uh, question for Sir Stringer. Uh, could you tell us, apart from the reasons that Mr. Guy already uh, elaborated on, why did you choose to collaborate with Whistling Woods International for this uh, particular event? never fails anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter. Microphones always fail. <laughs> uh, the, uh, because we have a film studio, we're very, we're very much aware of where film is best shot. And this is a great film school. We knew, knew about it. And so you, you can't improve on the best. And so a partnership with, with this film school made the most sense. And, uh, and the understanding that the, that the staff and the deans and the teachers and the filmmakers um, for a good partnership there will be a working partnership where we can both learn from each other I mean, we, we make 3D cameras we make 3D equipment we need it to be used by professionals and, and customized by artists and that's why we're at Whistling Woods it was really not an easy choice not a hard choice, we didn't sit down for days and think about it, this relationship has been going on for a long time and this new technology, I think, gives us a chance not only to develop the relationship, but, but create a whole new world of filmmaking for Indian filmmakers uh, that we can help. And we're just helping. We're, you're the solution. The next question. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Uh, my question to you would be like, uh, I'm Sridhar from Better Photography. Uh, do you really think that uh, 3D will really penetrate in the Indian market? Yes. <laughs> I get asked that a lot. I, I do, and people, people when, I, when I announced that Sony was making a big push into 3D, a lot of people um, called me up and said, you can't tie your career to 3D. That would be a mistake. I said, well, it's not that big a career anyway. Um, so I, I, I never doubted 3D because technology moves that way. 3D is not about special effects. 3D is about capturing the reality around us. So if when we tell stories and, and make these kind of movies, we show things that haven't been seen before, but reflect what you see around us, then it's bound to take off. You are in 3D. You're not, you're, you, I can't see you very well, but you're, not, you're 3D. So 3D is the real world. At, when you begin to see more and more 3D films, you begin to, f to, to forget that it's 3D. Avatar was designed to show what 3D effects would be like. Um, and I think probably the reason it didn't win the Oscar was because the story was secondary to the technology. But, but now, um, technology is just integrated into the storytelling. And as it does, it, it, the audience will, will grow enthusiastic about it. And, and all the 3D movies, with the exception of the really, of the really awful ones, have done very well. And, and they make more money for us which is not bad considering the decline of the home video market. So 3D is important technology. And we launched, as I said, the, the first 3D television channel. And as that, like high definition, as that migrates, then I think 3D will be, 3D will become a feature of television. It won't, it w not everything needs to be in 3D. I'm not sure I want to watch Gaddafi in 3D. <laughs> Though the hat, I think, lends itself to 3D. So, I, I, but I, am I, it's a long-winded answer, but yeah, I think 3D is a big deal. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, hi, this is Neha from Better Photography, Sir Stringer. I'd like to ask you, how important is Indian market to Sony? Uh -huh. Well, I said, I, look, it, when, when people like me show up places, <laughs> it's because we're trying to cash in on other people's success. Um, we have the, an Indian chairman here, Kehi Dadaseth. I, I, I know we haven't. That's, um, that, that's a, an expression of confidence in the Indian marketplace. I, I think he's the first chairman, foreign chairman of any part of Sony w worldwide. And, um, and the leader I've already introduced, Tamagawa san, who has done a remarkable job. He's, he keeps adding to the billions. I think we're at 2 billion sales, something like that now. 
not enough, but it's, 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 <laughs> and, and you've got the two top executives in our business and professional with cameras and so forth. And I have to tell you that a few years ago, I was very nervous about our ability. We were, we were getting complacent. We were not develop, we were making so much money off cameras and so forth that we weren't developing cheaper. We weren't adapting to the market. We were expecting the market to pay us. They've done a remarkable job of, of building the infrastructure to generate excitement for 3D and digital cinema. And now, and now we're, we're making more movies in that, that have 3D capability all around the world. So, so but here, in, the size of the film industry is obviously one reason why it is important. But we, we seem to get along well here. Uh, the Japanese executives like India. I like it. My father spent the first five years of my childhood. He, he avoided me by coming to India, <laughs> for which Freud may have something to say. But, but he loved India. So I, we, we feel very much at home in India. The, the language works for the film industry, works for our American and our studios and our music companies and our video companies. India's, when, when we said it would be one of the top five markets, that's not the end. We, we for some reason, everything we do seems to work very well in India, and, and we want to build on that, and that's why we're supporting enthusiastically. I'm slightly worried you're going to stop working and make movies, but, but I, I think it's been obvious that this is a good relationship. The next question. Uh, hi, Sagar Malviya from the Economic Times. You know, uh, India sales contribute hardly 3% to your total global sales. Uh, how do you justify this low sales, uh, given that India is the second largest consumer market in the world, one, and with most emerging, uh, and with, mo with most companies uh, considering India as one of the last bastions for growth, do you think it's, uh, it's increasingly getting uh, competitive, especially in your space? I didn't actually hear the question. Would one of you two like to answer it down there if you picked it up? Come, come on, Kate. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, could, could you tell me? Could you question? please repeat the question? Yes. That was a good In, idea. Yes. <laughs> the Indian business across all consumer verticals of Sony contributes hardly 3% to your total global sales. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you justify such kind of sales when India is the second largest consumer market in the world? One, and with most of the foreign companies considering India as one of the last bastions for growth, now, what will be a gross strategy considering that the space you are in right now mm. is increasingly getting competitive? Mm. Okay, uh, my name is Masaru Tamagawa, Managing Director of Sony India. Uh, okay, you said our contribution toward the global base, the, the sales turnover, is 3%. Um, little bit more than 3%, but that's true. Still less than 5%. But we are already, you know, top 10 ranking uh, global basis, and we are going to be uh, top within top five in a couple of years, yeah? And uh, we are growing from last year to this year, 50% in terms of the sales turnover, and uh, we expect the same growth uh, forwarding to the, you know, next year and uh, year after next year. So as my chairman, CEO, Sir Howard Stringer mentioned, it is a strong commitment from Sony Corporation to establish the strong brand in this country. And uh, even the, uh, some market survey, uh, the Nielsen uh, said, you know, Sony is the most desired brand in this country. And the many people, you know, have the aspiration to be owner a Sony product. And uh, not only the hardware, we have the software and also the, you know, the SET, Sony Entertainment Television. So, the hardware plus the software, total power we have to capture the all the you know market share in this market. Do I answer to your question? If you if you I if you compare to the profit to the size of India, um, you might as well apply that to China and everywhere else. We 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 were not quick to come into India with all facets of our business. And ten years ago, when I twelve years ago when I arrived at Sony, India wasn't really a targeted company by, by Sony. We were concentrating on Southeast Asia and obviously the United States and Europe. But we have moved very quickly into that step. We are, after all, a high-end company. We are, we, we're premium, our, our, our television sets have premium margins. 
And so we, weren't, we couldn't possibly appeal to the huge majority of, of Indian customers because we were too expensive. But, but more and more of, of the Indian customers are, are become, becoming middle class and therefore aspirational for Sony products, so, which is why we will go on selling more and more and more. Um, and I, I, don't think, I don't think you should feel, you sound a little offended by that, but I think that's, that's only to be expected. Kiki? I'd just like to add one further thing to what Sir Howard and what Tama have said. The fact of the matter is you can only be as big as the market in your country is. And the very fact that we beat in market share terms our competitors in televisions, in handicams, in music systems, in Walkmans, and have a very strong position in movies, including the IPL, uh, tells you a great story. And Tama has already told you that we are growing 50 to 60 percent per annum, and we expect that growth to continue for the next three to four years, at least. Otherwise, Howard has already told me I don't have a job. <laughs> All right, we'll have two so, more questions. Yes, ma'am. My question to Mr. Howard Stringer is, uh, what is the current size of the 3D market globally, and how big is it in India? And also, what is the growth rate that India is showing in this industry? That's a very good question, and I, honestly, I don't know what the worldwide 3D marketplace is at the moment. Um, okay, I, I can talk about the 3D, the market size in India. We have just launched the 3D television in the last year, Devari, and uh, we have obtained 60% market share in the 3D of LCD, but still size of the business is small. But uh, we are going to launch 3D related capable product one after another from now on. And uh, by 2012, 12, we you know, target 30% uh, of total turnover of Sony India with the 3D related product. Yeah, that's the, you know, such a big expectation we have. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think you have to understand, we do, we, we're doing this year 140 3D films. All of those, um, charge higher prices at the box office and generate, therefore, a better return than, than any other form of movie except those that are blockbuster. So, and that's just growing and growing and growing. And, and a, a, a bad movie will not succeed in 3D, but if you're careful, 3D offer, offers a, a legitimate premium to existing movies, which the industry needs considering the decline in home video and considering that most countries have about a 50 to 70 piracy rate. And I think India is one of those. Last question, please. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, this is Siddharth here from uh, Digit Magazine. Yeah. Uh, so how would you said that, uh, you know, 3D is not a gimmick. Uh, it's not a passing fad of sorts. And Sony has uh, products in the whole spectrum from the lens to the living room. Now, we have seen some of the products that uh, were released, you know, in the home segment. Uh, 3D TVs and Blu-ray players. The experience, I mean, we were all blown away by watching Avatar in the theater, but the experience at home is still not, you know, up to the mark. So could we have a comment on that? I don't agree with you at all. You know, I mean, you're obviously buying someone else's 3D. <laughs> uh, both, uh, if, both. If, if I take you out, if, if one of the film school takes you out there, puts, gives you high-quality glasses and looks at 3D television, I think it's a riveting experience. We have never had any complaints about the quality of 3D. I get lots of complaints about lots of things because people seem able to find my email easily enough. I haven't had any complaints about the quality of our 3D. We, we are very disturbed that in, not so much in India, but in other markets, including the United States, sometimes you see 3D televisions on sale without glasses so that you see a a blurry picture. I was in a store the other day where somebody said, well, it's not a very good picture, and he didn't, he didn't know that he didn't have any glasses. Uh, and, and so there's a lot of, there's still a lack of understanding and awareness of what 3D is. And, and sometimes people buy inferior 3D, but we test our 3D by the number of people who can sit in front of it and see it. Some people's 3D television only let, let two people at a time see it. We, we, we have a large cross-section that can see it, but I, I would be really surprised if you were disappointed by 3D, and, and particularly with the glasses that we have now. 